Friday's high-altitude action comes just six days after an F-22 fighter jet shot down a Chinese spy balloon off the coast of South Carolina with a Sidewinder missile. However, there may not be a connection between the two objects falling to the ground. The Chinese spy bubble was huge, its inflated envelope was about 200 feet 60 meters, long, and the truss structure, possibly decorated with tools, hanging beneath it was the size of several school buses. The object that was dropped over Alaska on Friday was about the size of a small car, so it was not similar in size or shape to the high-altitude surveillance balloon that was lowered off the coast of South Carolina on Feb. Said Ryder, he added that ground-based radar detected the Alaska intruder on Thursday, Feb. Warplanes then investigated, confirming the object's presence and altitude. U.S. President Joe Biden ordered the removal of the object, and the military did so very quickly. We currently don't have any further details about the object, including a description of its capabilities, purpose, or origin, Ryder said. Ryder added that teams had already begun searching for parts of the destroyed Alaskan object. Also, at about 47 feet, 14 meters, gave an update on similar efforts with the Chinese balloon wreck, which landed just 6 miles, 10 kilometers, offshore at a depth of water. Rescue teams have mapped the wreckage area and are in the process of searching and identifying debris on the ocean floor, Ryder said, citing parts of the Chinese balloon. The wreckage recovered so far is loaded onto ships, taken ashore, catalogued and then transported to laboratories for further analysis. These teams, so far have found a significant amount of debris that will help us better understand this balloon and its surveillance capabilities, he added. Uruguay took action on the 10th of February due to reports that an unidentified flying object had been seen in the sky. It was reported that the Uruguayan Air Force CRIDOVNI, Commission for Receiving and Investigation of Denunciations of Unidentified Flying Objects, unit was involved in the incident. It was stated that the unit was deployed in Termas de Almiron, where the incident took place, to gather information and interview witnesses in order to initiate the investigation. An unidentified flying object was shot down by the military over the U.S. state of Alaska on Friday, after the U.S. announced that it had shot down a Chinese spy balloon in its airspace. The White House announced that U.S. President Joe Biden ordered the unidentified flying object, flying at high altitude over Alaska on Friday to be shot down by warplanes. White House National Security Council Strategic Communications Coordinator John Kirby said the object was about the size of a small automobile and posed a threat to civil aviation, adding that its origin or purpose is unknown. The U.S. Department of Defense, Pentagon, suggested that the last two objects hit do not look very much like the alleged Chinese balloon, but they suspect they are made in China. Following these events, the People's Republic of China reported that a UFO was detected near Qingdao and that the authorities were preparing to shoot it down.